my name's Giselle Ansley. And I'm Eddie Raya. And welcome to Workout Wednesday. So we'd go for 30 seconds in each of the exercises and you go straight it from the lunge into the next exercise, into the next exercise, and into the next one. And so you do 30 seconds of each one. And then after that kind of whole round, you would have about a two minute break. And then we repeat that three times. So we've got four exercises for you today. We have um, obviously the, the basic version and then we've also got kind of the modified version that uh, you can do if you find the first one too easy or you want to really push yourself a little bit harder. So the first exercise we've got um, is a lunge. Um, I'm going to do a basic forward lunge, okay, and then push back. And Ellie is going to move it on to a jumping lunge. Um, we use this exercise a lot. Basically, hockey is all about getting into and out of a lot of low positions, making tackles. So for us, this is really important to get some really uh, good leg, leg strength and power. So first one will be, come back and then switch legs. So really hold yourself and then push back nice and hard. Don't lean back with your back to pull yourself back. Just down in here and push back off your legs. Nicely done. And then once you think you've mastered that, you can go into sort of the lunge jump. So when you plant, you plant your foot, you want to sort of use that as your steady base and then you're going to go from there. If you plant your foot, you go and then you jump. So you just start off sort of jumping up onto two feet. And then once you think you've got the hang of that, then it's just down and up into a lunge. So the next exercise we're going for is the side lunge. Again, it's similar to obviously the forward lunge in terms of having to get in and out of low positions, but it uses slightly different muscles. So what we do is we go out here, this is the basic version, and push back, and then out to the other side. Back. Really make sure you sink as low as you can, and push back up. Really low, and push back up. And Ellie will show you then the modified version. <laughs> so with a bit of a jump, literally as Giselle did, we're gonna follow that, but then you're gonna spring out of it a bit more and back to the middle. So we're going to go down, you get down, and then you jump. And you go down, and jump. Down, jump. Down, jump. That one's a lot easier to stop in the middle, as if you go from side to side, you probably lose a bit too much control. So you want to stop in the middle, sort of set yourself a bend, and then go again. is a press up roll to a sit up, okay, which Ellie is gonna, gonna demonstrate here. So basically, we go into a press up, so we do a full press up, okay, no half press ups. We go back down, into a roll, over, and then we sit up, back down, and then we come over into our press up, back into a full press up, lovely, roll, and sit up. Okay, this one again is good for your core stability, and in hockey, obviously, a lot of twisting movements, Okay, in a lot of low positions, it's really, really important that we protect the back, but also that we have a strong core in order to be able to use the power that we get, we get from our arms. Yeah, if you find that one quite hard, sometimes starting the floor is quite difficult. You can also just roll over from the upright position. So when I was doing it, I was rolling over from here and starting from the floor, coming up, then going back down. If you're struggling with that, you can start up here, go down, go up, and then roll over on your arms. And then do your sit up, as that's a little bit easier than pushing yourself off the floor straight away. in the gym and out on the pitch is sort of our um, our balance and our control off one leg. So we'll do a lot of hops and jumps to sort of make sure we're really stable, really strong. Um, so initially you just start off with a nice simple hop. So you're just gonna land on one leg and you've got to try and be really nice and stable. So as you're landing, if you sink into it, you're gonna be more balanced, more stable, but also you're gonna feel a bit more of a workout by the time you get to the end yeah. of the set. And your glutes especially. Yeah, so literally you just start and you're hopping forward and you're landing nice and stable and then you can go back, go again, other leg, just keep swapping around. And then when you think you've got that mastered, you can then move sort of to the side. So I'll be hopping one way, sticking it, other way, sticking it, 
and you can just sort of push yourself and gradually get further and further so you can start by jumping as far as you can forward running back going as far as you can to the side <laughs> running back <laughs> making sure that you stay really nice and stable and don't you don't want to as I say like I try to keep my balance there you want to really land stable and make sure you've got your balance and set before you then move on to the next one yeah and you can find a progression for that it kind of looks a bit like speed skating I guess so it's literally a hop to the side 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 okay so you can kind of progress it onto that but it's kind of important that you have the initial control in the landing first before you do that Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch more Workout Wednesdays.